Today I've got a TMUA problem from the 2023 paper too. I know a lot of you are doing the TMUA in January, so here's a little problem for you. I'm going to be showing you exactly the things in the question that you should be looking out for so that you can answer this question as quickly as possible. Because remember, for the TMUA, your working out does not matter. So therefore, your objective is to get to the correct answer as quickly as possible. Let's have a look at this problem here. We want to consider the following statement about a pentagon P. And the statement is this, if at least one of the interior angles in P is 108 degrees, then all the interior angles in P form an arithmetic sequence. Which of the following statements is slash R true for the statement star, the contrapositive of star, and statement three, the converse of star. So very, very interesting, this problem. And I encourage you to pause the video now and have a go at this yourself. Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with the TMUA, there are eight following options here basically considering, you know, maybe none of these are true, maybe all three of these statements are true, or some, you know, somewhere in between, maybe this is true, this is true, but this one isn't true, etc. Okay, cool, let's dive in. Well, firstly, is a fact you should know is that a statement and their contrapositive are equivalent. So if I have some statement x, then the contrapositive of x is what we call logically equivalent to x. And in other words, if statement x is true, then the contrapositive is true. And similarly, if x is false, the contrapositive is false. And so therefore, I could eliminate half the options straight away that have statement one and statement two disagreeing. Because it's impossible for the statement star to be true, but the contrapositive to be false, and vice versa. So any of the eight options that include this, I can get rid of. Anyway, that's in fact quite, well, I think it's kind of interesting. It doesn't have anything to do with pentagons or this statement at all, but something it is worth noting. Okay. Now let's have a look at the question. We want to know if the statement itself is true. If it is, then statement one and two are true. If this statement star is false, then one and two are false. Let's have a look at this. If at least one of the interior angles is 108 degrees, then all interior angles in P forms an arithmetic sequence. Now obviously they've chosen 108 here because that is, if we take any pentagon, the average size of an angle. Because remember, angles in a pentagon add up to 540 degrees. So let's just draw out an angle with that's 108 degrees. So that looks roughly like 108 degrees. Now, do we need all the other interior angles to form an arithmetic sequence? The answer is no. And you can easily construct a counterexample by just making two of the remaining angles the same. So if I choose a right angle here, so that's one angle, that's another angle. And these are both 90 degrees. Now, it doesn't really matter what the two remaining angles are. There's no way that all five angles can form an arithmetic sequence because these two guys are the same angle. And so if they were an arithmetic sequence, they'd all have to be 90 degrees because the difference between these two angles is zero. Anyway, so this can, I can just join these up. It doesn't really matter what these two angles are, but clearly this is not going to form um, an arithmetic sequence. So statement one and statement two, therefore, are both false. The question then becomes, is the converse of this statement true? So remember converse of a statement, if I have a statement X that says if A then B, the converse of X is, you just swap around A and B, if B then A. Oops. And so very kindly in this question, they've made it very, very explicit what our if is and what our then is, or what our condition is and what our conclusion is. So what is our converse of our statement here? Well, it's saying if all the interior angles in P form an arithmetic sequence, then at least one of the interior angles in P is 108 degrees. Well, if we list out our angles in P, let's call them A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, and A plus 4D, because we're assuming, we're investigating the converse of star, and so we can assume that all the interior angles in P form an arithmetic sequence. So it's of this form here. And we know that the uh, we know that in a pentagon angles add up to 540. So if I add these guys up, I get 5a plus 10d equals 540 degrees. So dividing through by 5 on both sides, I get a plus 2d equals 108 degrees, which very conveniently is one of our angles. So I can say for sure that at least one of the angles in P is 108 degrees, and so the converse is true. So the answer to this statement is, or the answer to this question, sorry, is three only. 